All right, Kyle, first question is coming from AJ McCord with Coin6. Hey, Robert. So uh, quite the quite the game from three-pointer you had. What was it like for you on a night where that shot is just clicking and it, it's falling most of the time? Uh, well, you know, today was my mother's birthday, so it was just kind of a overall feeling to um, come to the gym, you know, and, you know, talk to them and spend time with them. Uh, so that was just kind of, you know, I woke up in a great mood today. Um, so, and, you know, to tap it off with a, a victory and come out playing well. So I'm just thankful that we was able to do enough to get the victory tonight. Next question is coming from Aaron Fentress with the Oregonian. Coach Stott said a little bit ago that this was probably your best game with the Blazers. Would you agree with that? Uh, overall, yeah. Um, but like you said, it's just, you know, I got to keep building these. I got to kind of keep putting these type of games together. Um, you know, I can't have the drop-offs, you know. And I got to keep the confidence. I got to do a little things that, you know, has my rhythm and routine, you know, is what I've been working on a lot the past few days. And then, you know, just taking care of my body. So, you know, for me, you know, just see familiar faces and, you know, just being overall better mood um, mentally. Like you said, there's a lot, a lot of frustrating things to see a lot of shot, but, I used to have to play through it. And, you know, I never let those type of shots get, get me in time. So, you know, just got to keep playing through it. And for not tonight, just to see a lot go in early, you know, that's a big confidence boost for me. And what, what's your mom's name and what'd you get her for her birthday? Uh, I can't tell you because then she's watching right now. So, oh, okay. She, yeah, uh, yeah, her, name is, her name is Teresa Bryant, though. Okay. Thank you. Next question is coming from Cristo Saltos with Sport DNA. Hey, Rogo, congratulations on the win and the performance as well. How what how enjoyable for you is to play alongside with Dame and uh, Melo on the court? And uh, how important for you as a team is to carry on the momentum and uh, finish strong the first half of the season? Uh, you know, like you said, we want to go in these next three, next two games now, um, you know, finishing out the season strong uh, for us. You know, it, it's a it's a great give us a great momentum going into the second half of the season. Uh, we can, you know, take and have all-star break it to regroup, you know, allow other guys to get back healthy and everything. And so just overall, like playing with them guys, it, you know, it makes the game a lot easier. And, you know, the amount of attention that Dane, Melo, and and them guys get is, you know, when that ball swings, you got to be ready to knock down shots. So, you know, tonight was one of the nights where it went in. So, you know, I just got to keep, you know, having that confidence, keep filling out the game the same way and just keep at, keep the same preparation for me. Next question is coming from Jamie Hudson with NBC Sports Northwest. Hey, Rocco, how would you describe how you guys were able to defend the Hornets' small ball unit, especially with you and Melo being able to switch on screens? I mean, same exact way, um, switching and maintaining. And, you know, guys took the the initiative and the assignment and you know we sat down guarded you know of course they made a lot of good plays you know great back there a great player so you know overall we just you know was able to withstand that and their press and everything kind of sped us up a little bit but we was able to get that under control as well and once we did that we kind of dictated our own that dictated our own future next question is coming from casey holdall with trailblazers.com Hey, Roko, I uh, saw the news that you're going to be participating in the Skills Challenge at All-Star Weekend. I was wondering if you could talk about that, your decision to join that, and uh, seeing as you're the only representative of the HBCUs, your, your thoughts on that as being an alum from Tennessee State. And that's the reason why I had to do it. You know, I'm the only guy in the NBA now to, you know, for them to come to me and, you know, highlight that what they're planning on doing and me being the only, you know, athlete from HBCU and NBA it's only right that I do it. You know, it's a, a great opportunity. Um, you know, of course, I would love to have a break, but, you know, them type of experiences you don't really get to get. And, you know, I was I was excited, you know, to be a part of that and for them to think about me within that moment. So, you know, being the only athlete from HBCU, you know, it gives kids like that hope that maybe one day, you know, someday it will be another one. You know, you know, KO was the, the other guy in the league, but you know, he's over in Istanbul now. And, you know, now I'm the loner. So, you know, I just got to keep, you know, giving kids hope that, you know, it's possibility to, you know, really do it because it's not, I'm the only one. I'm the last guy left. And, and like I said, I want to keep doing what I've been doing and keep giving kids hope that, you know, with anything they do, you know, it's possible just because you go to HBCU or a smaller school, 
that doesn't necessarily mean you don't have a chance to make it. So, you know, I just keep giving them faith and you'll keep doing what I'm doing. That's great, Robert. Thanks. Congratulations. And thank you. Rafael Haynes, three point conversion. Um, hey, Robert, great game and happy birthday, Miss Teresa Bryant. Um, Robert, you had a great game tonight and we know you're a um, very good, great defensive player. When you see a rookie like LaMelo Ball come in at 19 years old and do what he did, not only tonight, but throughout the season, what are your thoughts on him and his game? Man, that kid is very talented and you know what he's able to do with the basketball. He kind he kind of he kind of surprised us with a couple of passes. You know, we were just talking about this in the locker room uh, about a few passes that he had and a couple of plays. You know, he's just out there getting a great feel for the game. And you know what he's done, what he did tonight was a glimpse in what he's been doing all season. It's just he's getting more and more comfortable. And you know, once he really breaks this game down, a kid gonna be very special. That kid gonna be very special. So. You just got to keep putting the time in, keep putting everything that he's been doing and, you know, stay focused. Like you said, there's a sky's the limit with a kid with a talent like that. You know, he can do a lot and, you know, that team will need him in the future. So, you know, he just got to keep going at it and keep doing what he's been doing. Because, like you said, it was, was kind of unique to see how he to match up with it tonight. And, you know, we responded really well. And, you know, he made a lot of great plays, a lot of great reads. And like you said, once he gets a feel for this game, like and how it played, like how it continuously plays, like throughout the season, ups and downs, man, he could, once he learns that, man, he he gonna be he gonna be a a, a problem. So he just gotta keep going with it, and you gotta keep doing his thing. Thanks. All right, thanks, Robert. We'll wrap it there. I right, appreciate it, guys. Oh. Thanks for